Hey guys, if you want to see the full video and its context, consider joining my Patreon. That's where the real caffeine is at. Cheers. Hello, Patriots. Today we're going to be reviewing Didi Mark's Car Baby. And of course, quite a few people are eating it up. But thankfully, there was one person so far who's like, Bro, this is another ripoff of Chainsaw Man. Guys, I couldn't believe this, man. Like, this is not going to stop, is it? It's really not going to stop. It seems, honestly, that people can no longer extrapolate from reality. Does Diddy Mark not have anything to extrapolate from his own life? Can he not use the example that he gave that his family was hungry and starving and he needed to provide, right? I suppose that was a gimmick. I suppose that was a gimmick too. Um, whoops, it's just playing some music there. I suppose that was a gimmick to, I don't know, win the favor of people uh, with sympathy points and empathy points because it looks like, particularly in the West, presenting yourself as a victim uh, rewards you more by that, more than the product itself. If you are a victim, you will earn more points than what your product can earn you. But anyways, so the story is as follows. It's about this girl who seems to be born from this woman here, who apparently had sex with a car. And in this world, there are people known as freaks, all sorts of different kinds of freaks. So in a way, it reminded me of like the quirkiness of My Hero Academia and whatnot. And for those wondering, what do I think of the art? The art is good. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's it's fine. It's I don't want to say it's perfect, but it's great. It's great. Diddy Mark always knows what he's doing in the art department. But I will say that sometimes the background lines of like let's say um, the cupboard or the buildings they should be thinner because it kind of makes um, it kind of makes the characters. Uh, blend in sometimes but anyways so here is explaining the the backstory of the mother and how she was such a wonderful person but whenever she saw a wonderful car like this she would well uh try to have sex with it so we this is all we know about the origins of the main character that the mother screwed a ferrari car and perhaps the mother is a freak herself. And I mean, these are speculations here, you know, it's not really presented as to like, how is it possible that she screwed a car? How did the car ejaculate? Did it ejaculate through the oil? Um, if it's through the oil, well, she's behind the car. She's, she's the one screwing the car, not the car screwing her. Um, the oil is fine in the front. I mean, I'm sure the engine is in the front. I don't know. Maybe a, a Ferrari has the engine at the back because some supercars are like that. Uh, so we don't know. These are speculations. We don't know if the mother is a freak herself. I mean, she's a freaky mother. But in terms of a freak as in um, the quirkiness and all, we're not quite sure. Uh, but right off the bat, I was turned off by this. To be honest, I was turned off by this because once again, it's prevent presenting the whole dopamine fest. It's just another dopamine fest. Um, you need to use the three primal instincts, fear, uh, sex, and violence. And this has it all, really. But to use it so early, I was like, yeah, we might not have a story here after all. So, and so here is where she lives. Now, I don't know where she got the car because it looks like it belongs to her, but she's struggling, right? I don't know. I suppose she bought the car with the, um, the splitting of the, the bank heist because that wasn't her first time doing that. Must have used some money to buy this car. Okay. But if that's true, why didn't she use the money to buy a house instead of living in a, in a junkyard? You see, that, that, that's another thing. It, it's a plot hole. And some can say maybe I'm being too critical, but it doesn't make sense. You know, you can say that, well, she had to buy a car first because she's a getaway expert. Okay, how did she start being a getaway expert? 
who gave her a car to start presenting her skills as a getaway driver, right? But oh well, we'll leave that behind and just wonder as to like, hmm, why though? Isn't it, isn't it the, the leader of the heist, as in the big boss? The big boss usually is the one who gives you a car for a getaway heist. That's how I remember in all these uh, top speed uh, heist movies where it's the leader that organizes an escape vehicle. So if she somehow presented her skills to some drug lord uh, and bank robber and maybe the bank robber gave her the, the car, maybe it's that, but I'm just speculating. So here's the cat. It's just a normal cat, Mr. Peanut Butter. And she takes care of this cat, it's sick, it needs medication. So she spends most of her cash sub, uh, buying medication for the cat. So she really likes the cat. The guy begins to transform into the bad creature. Now, I remember very vaguely there being a bat in Chainsaw Man, and there is. So, again, it was like, but Didi Mark, what, what's going on, man? Why can you not, out of everything, everything there is, why a bat? See, knowing full well there's a bat in Chainsaw Man, why a bat? Why not a bird or an eagle or a werewolf? In fact, a werewolf would have been cooler, actually. You know? Or a werewolf with wings would have been cooler, right? So he transforms and attacks her. And this is a very good scene, premium level stuff. Uh, very nice. And they fall and she can't get up. And the guy comes through and then her puberty, uh, mechanical puberty starts to click in again. And a keyhole comes out of her neck and she decides to rev it up. And this is a funny scene. This is very uh, Cartoon Network like. This is pretty funny, especially the expressions. I like it. It's very funny. Haha, ha, I have zero clue what's about to happen. So, revving it up, twisting it up, and boom. And just like that, I was like, no. No, bro. So, just like in Chainsaw Man, there's a string over here, and he pulls it, and then he changes. But look at the design in the face. Look at Chainsaw Man's face in his Chainsaw Man form and look at her face in her car form. It's exactly the same. The only difference is there's no chainsaw coming out of his, her head and the teeth aren't sharp. But it's the same shape. I don't understand. This looks more like a motorcycle than a legitimate car. What part of the car looks like this? This reminds me of a motorcycle. You know, the front part of a motorcycle, even the the lights of a motorcycle. So that's not a car, you know, that's a it's just a, a, a automobile, but it's a motorcycle. So it's problematic. It's seriously problematic. And she blasts him away, holds the cat hostage, says, give me your heart or I'll kill the cat. And then he remembers that his younger brother wouldn't allow this, wouldn't be happy for him to do so. So she decides to give him the heart so the cat may be let go. And then he remembers here that my brother wouldn't like this because, as he says here, I don't know, Cole, I guess to me, Maximum Punch would never do that. I hate it when people do bad things and say it's not as bad because they are doing it for good reasons. Now that's very good. You see this here, that was wonderful. But unfortunately, Didi Mark doesn't live by this principle though. Doesn't live by it. Sorry, but you don't, he doesn't live by it. And the rest of the manga itself, again, it's the bad guy remembering what his brother is saying about morals. But 
What are the morals of the main character? We don't know. We don't know. So it all ends here because he doesn't want to compromise his morals. And she runs away and he gets arrested. And that's the end of the story. Honestly, what goals does she have? You see, now from here, we could say she could end up like Denji in Chainsaw Man, in which another organization was watching her on TV and saw that she's pretty cool. And then she can join the Secret Service to fight Freaks of Terror. But that would legit be a ripoff, just like the Secret Service in Chainsaw Man uh, hiring Denji to fight the demons. You see what I mean? This whole setup suggest that if there were to be a way forward it most likely end up like a chainsaw man scenario why i told you this story but i told it anyway you see this statement here is an extrapolation of dd mark's head like through and through i don't know why i did this i don't know why i created this but i just did you did it because you wanted to create something but you don't have anything to say and it shows in this manga. It doesn't have anything to say. It really shows. It really shows that it has nothing to say. What we have here is an artist who's very passionate and desperate to keep creating. Cool. But what he keeps creating is the same thing over and over. And again, remember he said he's working with an editor on this, a Japanese editor? From what company? Because everybody in Japan knows Chainsaw Man. What editor approved this? What editor approved this to serve as a one-shot? It's a straight-up rip-off. The character designs, the setting, come on. So did Diddy Mark lie again? Hey guys, if you want to see the full video and its context, consider joining my Patreon. That's where the real caffeine is at. Cheers.